I told you to play your trump. That'd have made the rest of your hand good. You all play like my Aunt Fanny. Well, Why you don't you go home with your Aunt Fanny? Fanny. Okay, man. Take shooting on 3rd Street. Before it's too late. Who shot you? It was, uh, Nolan. Nolan, huh? Well, it's about time Nolan's place was knocked off. Yeah, it should have been closed long ago. A check. I want to get out of here. I thought you said this was a live place. It's dead. This is a big check, sir. Yeah, and I want some action with it. Do you know any place? Might be a game upstairs. Well, then cash it and lead me to it. I'll have to get Mr. Nolan's okay, sir. All right. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Stop paying any attention to him. He's boiled. Well, he's not too boiled to know what he's doing. I apologize. I apologize to you, too, my friend. somewhere, sir. I'm sure he'll be down in a minute. No, he isn't. I sent that check up once. Well, he must be in the cafe somewhere. Okay. I beg your pardon, sir. This is Mr. Nolan's private office. Oh, all right. Under arrest. What for? 
You haven't caught me doing any gambling. I want you for murder. Why, you're making a big mistake. I haven't been out of this office all evening. And I can prove it. You're the one that's making a mistake, Nolan. And I'm the one that's been here all evening. Your alibi's no good. All right, my boy. But you're only getting yourself in trouble. Wait and see. Is there any of you fellas gonna match? No, no. Scram. Inside, copper. Inside. Inside. One wrong move and I'll drill you through. Put him up. I'll take that. Come on now, boys. The cars are waiting at the door. We got action, all right, on a murder charge. Hello, is Diamond there? Yes. This is Diamond's? What? Well, don't worry. They haven't got a case against him. Well, maybe they have. There's been a detective watching him all evening. That's bad. Do you know the Dick's name? Well, I'll find out. See you later, girlie. Take it easy, copper. You two birds think you can keep out of trouble if I give you the rest of the week off? The rest of the week off, Captain? Thanks. It'll take me a week to get these clothes off. What's the idea? I thought we were going right to the beach. I just remembered I have a telephone call to make. Give me a nickel. A dame? No, Mary. First you steal my girl and you want me to pay for it, huh? If you think I'm going to take care of her mother, you're out of luck. Oh, give me the nickel. Hello, Mary. How'd you like to go for a nice moonlight ride this sunny afternoon? Watch your mother. Say, would your mother mind staying home with McHugh? Oh, Mac, he'd be just delighted. He's kind of sweet on your old lady. Hello. Hello. Why, don't you remember me, Mac? Yeah. I met you on a party somewhere, about a year ago, didn't I? How do you remember my name? <laughs> Alone? Say, that would be swell. Mac would be just crazy about helping your mother get dinner for us. Yeah. Kind of. Say. Hey. I've got to go. I'll explain to you when I see you. Maybe I won't take Mac with me. Yeah, you wait for me. Goodbye. Follow that roadster, will you? Ruth, bring us some ice and ginger ale. I could make myself right at home in a place like this. 
Take a handful. There's lots more where those came from. Whoever buys these, he knows the ropes. He's got good taste in everything. <laughs> He's just a friend of mine. I help him out on business deals now and then. Married to him? Well, is that any of your business? You bet it is. Husbands shoot quicker than friends. Don't worry. I'm not married. But I'll bet you are. Why? Well, you act sort of guilty. Me? I ain't got no wife. I ain't even engaged. Then why don't you make yourself at home? Something tells me this isn't on the up and up. This is too good to be true. Can I help you? Oh, I'll do this. Yes, he's here now. No, he doesn't seem to be wise. She's got a meeting out of her hands. We'll be right over. She's got the state's star witness in her apartment. Here's how. How? Well, he sure knows his liquor as well as other things. You think so? Still afraid of husband? I never said I was afraid of anything. Don't you like me? I like you well enough to stay around here to see what's going to happen. That's better. I was beginning to think I was losing my charm. Where was that party I met you before? Wasn't a party. It was a gambling house raid. So it was. And you let me go. I never could arrest a girl. I never have forgotten how kind you were. To let me go that night. So that's why you picked me up and brought me here. I'm beginning to think you are on the level. Hey! I'm afraid I gotta go. What's your hurry? I'm sorry to leave you, but listen, you call me at Central Station tomorrow afternoon. I'll be off duty. We take a little spin. What do you say? Can't you make it this afternoon? I was just going back to get you. You're a liar. You weren't trying to double-cross me, were you? You weren't fixing up for me to spend the afternoon with an old lady, were you? You weren't in there with any old lady either. It was a man. Yeah? Well, take me and let me meet him. What, me take you in there? Me take a guy like you into a decent, respectable home? Well, I bet he had a good-looking daughter in there. Wouldn't you like to know? In from duty, Captain. Hey, you're an hour late. I was beginning to be afraid you two Airedales had started another scrap. 
Oh, you got us wrong, Captain. We never fight, do we, Mac? Of course not. We share everything, don't we, Mac? If you think I'm going to let you cut in on that girl I met yesterday, forget it. All right, keep her in cold storage and see if I care. But it's my turn for the car today. It's my turn. You had it yesterday. So did you. Oh, oh yeah. I got you wrong. You never fight. <laughs> Not much. Hey, Mac. Here's a telephone call for you. Came about an hour ago from Miss Daly. Use a phone, Cap? Sure. Hello. This is Miss Daly's apartment? This is McHugh. Yeah, sure, Lil. I'll be right over. Captain's office. Thanks, Cap. Who, Max? Just a minute, Tom. He's right here. The chief's office wants to speak to you, Max. Chief? McHugh speaking. Uh, this is Tom in the chief's office. Uh, the chief wants to see you, Mac. He's tied up now, but it's very important and you'd better wait. All right, Tom, I'll be right over. And me with the swellest girl in town, all dated. I'm looking for Miss Daly. She's not in. Oh, yes, she is. She's expecting my pal. How do you do, Miss Daly? I'm Bob Larkin. I guess I can trust you with this. That would be all, Ruth. So you're the girl Max has been raving about, huh? I've been just dying to meet you. Where's Mac? I was expecting him. Oh, you can't depend upon a fellow like Mac. He had a chance to go out on a big assignment, and he asked me to keep his date for him. He did? Yeah. He's the sort of a fellow, Mac. A girl to him is just a passing fancy. He's in love with his job. Ambitious, you know. He said something about going out of town. Uh, won't you sit down? How long will he be gone? Oh, I don't know. They may send him to Alaska. In fact, I hope they do. <laughs> now take me, for example. I wouldn't disappoint a girl. Not even if they were making me chief. Are you a detective, too? A detective? Don't be silly. A salesman? How'd you guess it? By the way you sell yourself. That's me, just a salesman. What's your line? Well, uh, I travel for the shoe trust. I bet you're good at it. I might be, but my motto is pleasure before business. <laughs> that calls for a drink. Okay. Aren't you going to drink with me? No. Okay. Here's dirt in your eye. Hey, that's pretty good. No, he didn't come. Some friend of his came instead. A fresh egg if there ever was one. A shoe salesman. Well, tell her to get rid of him. Get the other fellow there. The one we want. 
I know what this party needs. Yeah. Let's send the maid away. Maybe you'll get a real one sometime, if you're a good boy. Say, you're swell. You've got everything it takes. Hey, wait a minute, Chief. What do you want, Mac? What do you want? I didn't send for you. Your clerk said you did. I've been waiting six hours. Somebody's been kidding you. The dirty chiseler. Why can't you stay for dinner? You can peddle your shoes tomorrow. I'm not in the shoe business. That was just a gag. It sounded too tame. For a live wire like you, what is your racket? I'm a Q's partner. Oh. Till tomorrow, sweetheart. Head. Where's your partner? I don't know. Don't think anything's happened to him on account of this Nolan case. I'm the witness in a Nolan case. He might be having some trouble with his car. Well, I guess you can make this arrest alone. Yes, sir. This is Larkin speaking. Where's McHugh? McHugh? Just a minute. He's making an arrest at 1420 Jefferson. 1420 Jefferson? Thanks.
I tell you, Chief, we're just pals. Kidding. We were. We were. Now, wait a minute. We were... It seems that the trouble with you two is that you can't get along together. Maybe you've never had a chance to get used to each other. Lock them up. Have either of them call me if they come in. Thanks. Can't you find out where they are? I tell you, I haven't seen or heard from them. I'll keep after it. We've got to stop McHugh from testifying at Nolan's trial. word meaning trouble and you can't guess it. And I suppose you can. G-I-R-L. Girl. <laughs> You're right. Where have you been? In court. How'd you make out? It wasn't my trial, it was Nolan's. Did you convict him? Jury's still out. Prisoner, rise and face the jury. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. What is that verdict? Guilty of murder in the first degree. Prisoner, you'll appear before me for sentence one week from today. Nolan's in a tough spot. So are we. Nolan's going to say anything he can to save his life. How'd you like to have him save himself from the chair by talking you into it? What? Yeah. We've got to do something for Nolan. Can we help? No. This is too big for either of you to even know about. So both of you, scram. They don't want us in on it, and I don't blame them after the way you handle those two detectives. Now listen to what the police commission has to say about you two bulldogs. Fighting on duty is excuse enough for severe disciplining, but the plain clothes force cannot retain men who let a prisoner get away because of their personal quarrels. You're through. Would you two like to stay on the force? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you're both reduced to the uniform ranks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And since you can't get along without fighting, I'm going to put you in a spot where the department can use your fists. You're both assigned to the riot squad. Dismissed. Thank you. The hardest duty in the department. I hope you're satisfied. Well, it isn't my fault. Oh, no? If you hadn't stolen that girl from me... If you hadn't gimmicked that car... Oh, what's the use? We've got to cut out the squabbling and get down to work. You're right. No more gags now. And no more women. I'm cured. So am I. Where are you going tonight? I'm going to have dinner with my married sister. Well, it's my night to have the car, but you can have it. Thanks, pal. Be on duty.
Good afternoon, Miss Daly, home? Is that your married sister, Mac? Tell her the one she likes is here, too. And I loaned you the car. Well, what are you going to do about it? What I ought to do is punch some honesty into you with my fist. Yeah, well, try it. Oh, no. We know what that'll get us. What are you going to do? I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you an even break. Now, here's two matches. One with the head on, and one with the head off. I'll mix them, and you pick them. Okay with me. Now, the one with the head on wins and stays. The one with the head off loses and goes. Can I show you out? Lil, you're more beautiful than ever. Where have you been? Well, uh, it's a long, long story. Tell me about it. All right. It was like this. I follow this gang day and night until I finally got them rounded up. And then I brought them back. Alive? Oh, what's the use? You know all the <laughs> answers. Where were you, really? In jail. Just occurred to me. Mac's been away, too, hasn't he? What's the matter with you boys? Oh, just a little fight on duty. What about? Can't you guess? You know all the other answers. You don't mean me. Yep. Well, <laughs> who won? Well, I didn't lose. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Ruth about her afternoon off. What's the matter? Who's putting up for this place anyway? Do you have to know? He's just a friend of mine. Well, why didn't you tell me that before? It didn't seem important to me. Well, it's important to me. If we can't play this game on the level, it's just too bad. But I thought you liked me. I'm crazy about you. You're too high class for this racket. Why don't you get out of it? And get into what? Well, I couldn't give you anything like this. I'm just a pavement pounder on reserve. But you don't have to have a lot of money to be happy with the right guy. Or the right girl. Think it over. Good night. Wait. Hey, Bonnie, give me a match. 
Larkin broke their heads off all his yesterday. So I did. Better take a look at this, boys. Why, that's the judge who tried Nolan. Yeah. What a chance for promotion. Yeah, plain clothes men get all the breaks. Look what a case you missed, Mac. to see me? You've been quite a stranger. Oh, too bad about that. I still feel at home, though. He still likes the best, doesn't he? So it seems. Yeah. Nice guy. Diamonds. Haven't seen him around lately. He said something about going out of town. Yeah. Well, he must have left on a special train. All his friends dropped out of sight except you. Well? I just wanted to have a little talk with him. I'd like to get in touch with him myself. Have you seen Bob Larkin lately? I thought you were seeing him. If you should happen to meet him, tell him to get in touch with me. Maybe he's been too busy. We all been pretty busy since this Peggy Moore case broke. Pretty raw deal to hand a girl, wasn't it? She had no more right to be mixed up in that than you have. Fine girl, too. Her folks thought the world of her. I can't imagine any real woman that wouldn't help that girl out if she could. The kind of men who'd do a thing like that wouldn't let a woman in on it. It seems to me their girlfriends ought to know something about it. Not if those girlfriends had been trained to mind their own business. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it. Well, guess I'll be on my way. Say, that maid of yours sure appreciates me. No, thanks. What's the matter? None of that, copper. I'm no copper. No? What was you reaching for when we came in? My notebook. Just wanted to get Lil's phone number. He's a friend of mine, boys. Does he know anything? He knows too much. 
He tipped his hand when he tried to get Lil to talk. What are we going to do about it? If you let him get out of here, this is what's going to happen. Lil and me are going to be taken in, and Lil's going to talk. He looks like a regular guy, doesn't he? How'd you like to come over to our place, sweetheart? Sure he'll come. You wouldn't argue with a pal, would you? Maybe. But I wouldn't argue with four pals. Oh, Lil. I won't be seeing that friend of yours. You'd better phone him yourself. I don't phone anybody. If Bob won't take the trouble to call me up, he's out. Suit yourself. He's your friend, not mine. We're waiting. Hello, Diamond. Hello, Mac. What do you know? Oh, I just dropped in to play a little poker with the boys. There's plenty of time for that. Let's have a talk, privately. Sit down. Play a game or two. Well, I won't we'll play, but I'll watch it. Well, why bring me here? Maybe I like entertaining company. Haven't you got enough guests? I mean, no more, girl. This isn't getting Nolan anything of you either. Oh, I don't know about that. First a girl disappears, then a detective. But I haven't disappeared. You don't think I was fool enough to come here without letting my partner know, do you? Don't kid me. You haven't got a partner anymore. You're just a uniformed cop on the riot squad. You got a smart hunch. You followed it to Lil's. But you followed it alone. Don't stand there gawking at me like that. Tell the lady of the house to pull her brush pants here. Bob. Hello, Lil. I've just been thinking about you. And who do you think I've been thinking about? I'll give you just one guess. <laughs> it's a small world after all. I got a pardon. Bob Larkin would go through anything for me. I'll bet he's at Little Daly's right now. We'll see about that. Is that Lil's phone number? Yeah. Everything all right, Diamonds? Yeah, I'm all right. Hello. Hello. Yes, just a minute. It's for you. For me? Hello? This is McHugh. I'm sorry I couldn't wait for you. I just left there. Oh, yeah? What do you want? I just wanted to tell you where I am. Who cares? I met some old friends. You know, old pals. 
and are playing a little poker. Listen, Mac, cut out the comedy. I'm busy. Maybe the boys will take me for a little ride after the game. If you're trying to get me away from here, you're just out of luck. No. No, I don't think I'll be around. Tell the boys at headquarters I was thinking about. Hello. Hello. All right, boys, keep your hands on the table. I brought just some food, honey. I don't want any food. I want to get out of here. Bob, Chief wants to see you right away. Me? Yeah. I wonder what he's done now. I don't know. You sent for me, Chief? When did you last see Officer McHugh? Why, yesterday or the day before. He's been off duty. Did you know he hasn't been seen since he went out to do some detective work on the Peggy Moore case? No, I get it. He phoned me the other afternoon that four mugs had him. We're going to take him for a ride. Why didn't you report this before? I didn't know he was begging for help. I thought it was a gag trying to get me away from my girl. I laughed at him. Let me go out after him, Chief. Give me a chance. I've got to do something for Mac. Prisoner at the bar, you have been convicted of the crime of murder in the first degree. Knowing that it was my duty to fix your sentence, your friends, have tried to terrorize this court. My daughter has disappeared. The forces of law and order have been unable to find her. Furthermore, an officer of the police department engaged in the hunt for her has suddenly dropped from sight. I have been given to understand that the lives of that man and uh, and of my girl will be forfeited if I sentence you as you deserve. If you succeed in bargaining for mercy by these methods, the underworld will adopt them in the future. These two victims will be the first of many. That is unthinkable, impossible, in a country dedicated to justice. Therefore, I sentence you to be put to death in a manner provided by the laws of this state. And may God have mercy on your soul. It's a famous! I tell you, Miss Daly is not at home. Where is she? Out. Who was here the other day just before I came? Nobody. You're lying. My partner was here. Now, I'm going to find out a few things about this place. And if you're not going to tell me, I'm going to find out by myself. Not while I'm around. No. Just open the door and see who's outside. You can't bluff me. There's nobody out there.
Hello. Hey. Oh. Where's McHugh? He made another break, so we put him upstairs. He can't get away. I suppose you heard about Nolan. Yeah, we heard about it. That leaves us with a couple of visitors on our hands. What are you going to do about him? What do you think? There's only one thing we can do. My partner was framed this apartment the other day. When he phoned me, I thought he was kidding. Where did they take him? Don't ask me. Don't ask me anything. Are you going to let a few rats scare you into protecting them? Or are you going to give my partner a chance for his life? It's on the outskirts of town. The old Carroll place. Attention, men. The queue's been located. Get in those cars. Come on, boys. Let's go. Go. Peggy. Throw up a blanket. Any luck? We've looked everywhere. Well, they couldn't have gotten out of the house. But Diamond? We've got to get him. We can't have any witnesses against us. Hello. Hello, Ruth. What? All right. Get out of town. Got to clear up. The police are on their way here now. All right, man. Yeah, but the girl's inside and Diamond's just trying to make a getaway. You get the girl away from here, Matt, and I'll wait for the squad. Right. Come boys.
Keep right on going, boys. What a fine driver you turned out to be. Look at the car. That makes us even, Diamonds. Never mind, Mac. I'll take her in. Okay. Thank you.